Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. The Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, made history today, becoming the first sitting Israeli Prime Minister to be indicted on corruption charges. He's being charged with bribery, fraud, and breach of trust in three separate cases. He could face a 10-year prison sentence if found guilty of bribery. Fraud and breach of trust are punishable by a maximum sentence of three years in prison. Vox News tweeted, The indictment of Benjamin Netanyahu has been expected since nearly the beginning of the year, but now it's finally happening. The implications are massive. Evidently, yesterday he lashed out. He said these charges are an attempted coup. His main opponent, the Blue and White Party, said that according to a Supreme Court ruling, those that are being indicted cannot hold office or continue to work in office, I suppose. They are calling for him to step down. He denies any wrongdoing and said he is the victim of a political orchestrated witch hunt. Evidently, he's not legally required to step down, uh, but there's been a lot of pressure asking him to. I guess the charge of bribery is from receiving gifts from a Hollywood producer, Aaron Mitchin, who's also an Israeli citizen, and from an Australian billionaire. Evidently, the gifts included champagne and cigars, and also negotiated a sale of a newspaper, promising the newspaper better coverage. And then you have to wonder, how is this going to affect the uh, peace agreement that they've been working on with Palestine? And they're also saying this could drag on for years, so I don't know. Yeah, right now, um, the government is divided. They haven't been able to come to a conclusion between the two um, parties, the two governments there. And they're saying this newest event that's happening there could hold up anything, any work being done within the government for months to come. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please subscribe. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.